welcome. Thanks for joining me at RD Custom Diecast. Uh, still wheel swap today, guys. Let's just do something quick, easy. Uh, got one of this year's uh, Bel Airs. So, uh, got the 55 Chevy Bel Air. And it's got these little five, kind of like five spokes there. They look okay on here, but uh, let's put some Sam Ed wheels on there. See how she looks. Uh, do a quick little wheel swap, and we'll kind of go from there. I do actually have this is a mainline car. Uh, let me see. I think I have another one of these. I do right here. Let me show you some. Well, I found these. I don't know if it's going to show up too good in the camera or not. But that bottom one is a darker blue. I actually like it better. So it'll go in my display case. Um, I know they got supers of these. I've got a super of this. Uh, show you. I got the super right over here, matter of fact. down here fifty five Chevy Bel Air Super actually my wife's actually got one of these in her store as well if you look on there uh, it says treasure hunt give me just a second guys this put back up here Let's get into it and get some stuff I'll need. Get my taps, a little bit of oil. I don't think I'm gonna do anything else to this. You know what? We may paint the tail lights on it, but I think that's all I'm gonna do to this. Uh, I could cut that steering wheel out, put a custom steering wheel in it, but I don't think we're going to right now. I think we're, gonna, I think we're just going to do the wheel swap today, guys. Get some screws out here, and we'll make quick work of this. Just thought we'd do a quick little wheel swap, make this baby look a little bit better, let her ride on the road a little bit better on some rubber. Let's see if there's anything in this one that looks appealing. Nope. Okay. Let's open this box up. Actually before I even do that wheel selection there, let me go ahead and just get this drilled and uh, then we'll tap it. And we'll swap the wheels. Okay. So I should be releasing a uh, custom this week uh, video on doing a custom so y'all stay tuned for that hopefully I have a couple of videos coming out this week
you guys uh, are new here. Appreciate you joining, watching today. Coming back just to see what I'm doing. Appreciate you sticking with me. Guys, thank, thank all y'all for being part of this community. It's a great community. Uh, great guys. Give, gives us an opportunity to learn from one another. If you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel, uh, please subscribe, like, share, hit the notification icon. Recently got this hobby vice, but I have not been real happy with it. Uh, I know Hot Wheels are awkward to hold anyway. Um, I may 3D print. I've got some uh, what's called TPU material. It's rubberized. I may make some custom uh, vice uh, jaw covers that might bite in a little bit better. that will contour and maybe keep this from slipping. But man, they slip a lot. And uh, let's have high hopes for this. Uh, and I was going to do a review on it for you guys if I liked it, but uh, unless I modify it, it's, it's going to be hard for me to recommend. It's not bad if you don't, you don't have to have it. I've drilled many of these just setting them down on the table or on a cloth uh, and drilling them. You can do just fine like that. Um, I had a little bit better bias to uh, HDUs for some hobby stuff. And I cannot, uh, for the life of me, know if I sold it or got rid of it in one of my moves. Uh, but I sure can't find it. We're going to switch bit. Finish getting these rivets uh, out of here. I mean, this vice does help hold a little bit. You just can't put a whole lot of pressure. sitting here thinking decide if I want to go with chrome wheels or if I want to go with the black not a hundred percent certain which way I want to go with this this casting this year uh, like the colors love the super uh, just like this car overall and I've actually got one unmolested in a package still so this is just going in my display uh, of course I got the super in the package it's going to stay in the package. I've actually got two supers still. Uh, had more than that. I uh, give some of them away. Uh, that's where where I'm at on that. Like I said, don't think I'm going to do anything with the interior. It can use some help. We might do that for a future project. I think what we'll go ahead and do is drill these, tap them, get that out of the way. But let me file this in down real quick. Just a little. 
with these posts. Be careful here because I don't want to mess up the paint. May have to switch to a different type of file. It is close. I can get at it this way. Do it, guys. Let's just not mess this up. Let me get my needle file set out. If the posts are up enough, I like this. It's a good quality file. I think this is. I can't remember what brand this is. But it's a, it's a good file. And I like it. Uh, when I, if I can use it, I try to use it. But the teeth on this file are angled, and you can't get right at the edge and file anything. So this one goes all the way to the edge. So I'm reaching here. I can take smaller strokes. all we got to do. At this point, just need to uh, drill it and tap it. I always pre-drill. Uh, with my uh, bit that I, I used before I tap, uh, it kind of gets everything started and lined up. And I wait. I know a lot of people go ahead and drill all the way down that they need to, and then take the rest of their heads out. I just don't do it that way. I like to get there and see uh, how deep I can go, how long those posts are. So that's why I do it this way. Now it, you can just drill that head out. Uh, I like to kind of center it because this bit fits really good in most it, those. Uh, little mushroom heads you can usually center it pretty close so that helps out otherwise I go back with the center punch and do it that way and then drill further than that I could go a little bit deeper but I'm not gonna press it just don't want to bust through that uh, other side of your casting okay did y'all see it slip it did not go through but it does have a void in it. So, I'm gonna go a little bit deeper, but man, it gave quick. It's kinda unsettling when that happens. It almost felt like I went through the other side. I knew I wasn't deep enough, but. These castings sometimes have voids in the uh, posts. So. Not all of them's like that, but some of them are. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and tap this. I like to put a drop of oil. it out sometimes I'll run the tap twice uh, you don't have to matter of fact I probably won't even on this one um, but if you feel the need go ahead if you do clean your flutes I do that before you go to the next one anyway on that tap because it's going to build up 
with the shavings and stuff as it threads. If my battery on my camera doesn't run out, we will do the tail lights. The headlights are already done. So we don't have to worry about that. Okay, we got that. Let's just get this out of the way. Put it up in a minute. And we'll move on to our wheels. I've got to order me some new flush cutters. I like to flush cut mine because I just glue them back, guys. Uh, if I'm racing these, I'll use epoxy. But if I'm not racing them, I usually just use super glue, quick set it uh, with some Bob Smith uh, accelerator. And I usually just go from there. You can actually bend these tabs out of the way if you're careful and just bend them back right in place and be fine. Uh, A lot of times I'll just cut them out. I have to cut them out anyway if I have to use axle tubes. I'm going to have to uh, do something about these axles anyway because these Sam Eds are too long. I like how that one's looking right there. Well, tell you what guys, I was going to put these on it. But let me see, I might have some five spokes. If I got some five spokes, uh, Maybe I'll go with the five spokes. You know what? They come with five spokes. So, let's be different. Let's put these on them. What do you guys think? Let's do it. So, as you can see, these are way, 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 way too long. And there's a couple ways you can do it. Um, you can just cut off the excess here. Get you some fencing pliers. You got to have something heavy duty crimp this end and it'll be fine uh, for this I'm tell you what I'm just going to use some uh, brass rod and we'll do it that way we will make quick work out of it pro tip guys don't try to use uh, these flush cutters on something that's heavy you're just gonna mess up your flush cutters uh, I shouldn't uh, I'm the worst person to say that I don't cut this with them but I cut a lot of hard stuff if you can see the tips of these are bent uh, I got these have one side broke off I'm pretty rough on some of these they're cheaper tools I usually buy them by six seven pack I don't know on Amazon they're cheap anyway uh, but for my heavier stuff I get some good pliers or some cutters and cut the wrong ones anyway I don't need to cut those factory ones okay like that don't follow me it's running away all right these old axles out of here out with old in with the new it's just the way I do it uh, this is my quick method some people don't like doing this because they don't like the brass um, on the end you really don't notice it but if it really bothers you get a Molotov pin or something and just use the pin on it and you won't even be able to tell Sorry guys, I don't like how to crimp that. These little crimpers here work great. They have a flat spot in the back. And I don't know if y'all can see it. That's all I'm wanting to do. Just enough that it's going to hold that wheel on. So let's do the backs first. Okay, what I do? There it is. I rolled off his blend it in with my drill I 
Now this brass is soft and it'll bend really easy, so be careful guys. So I didn't have that cut out very good, I'll just stick that back through there. Really don't even have to glue those. Okay. are getting bad guys gotta see my mark and we'll crimp it again on this end quick and easy let me get my screwdriver and we'll open these channels out a little bit. I'm probably going to go ahead and glue this anyway, so. Alright. That fits nice, guys. Okay, that's going to hold it in place to glue it. So let's get on with this next one. I've been meaning to do a wheel swap on this since February. So I'll show you how far behind I am on getting some of these little projects done. We'll do this front the same way. That would have been a rookie mistake there, wouldn't it? You guys see that? I did. <laughs> uh, tell you what. Get in a hurry, and it's easy to do. Crimp that down, I would have had to redo that axle. Would have been detrimental, but uh, see, let me show you something, guys. I don't like the width on this, it's a little bit further than I want apart. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna crimp a little bit more, and then this excess of half sticking out here, I'll just trim it up some. That's one of the great things about brass, it's so forgiving and easy to work much better all that spinning just perfect guys so let's uh quick set this I'm just gonna put a dab here capillary action i'll tell you right now will be your worst nightmare if that runs you get too much and it goes in and touches those wheels you're gonna lock them down so don't overdo it on your glue uh, that's all you need this I'm not going to squirt on I'm just going to drip a drop right there and 
make sure this is spaced black on white. A lot of times I'll put these in my axle alignment jig. That way they're lined all, perfectly aligned. We're good. We are absolutely golden. So, all right, guys. We got the glue on there. Let's button her back up. That was a fast wheel swap there. Didn't take us much time at all, did it? Oh yeah, that's freaking hot. I like it. Guys, I'm loving these Sam Ed wheels. Uh, great company. Uh, I don't have any relationship with them at all. Uh, but I will tell you, uh, Diecast die Graveyard, I'm sorry. Stuttering here. Um, he uses them all the time. They sponsor him, I believe. Um, if you want some good wheels, go to their website. And I don't think you get a discount, but I think if you order wheels and put graveyard in the uh, promo code area when you check out, I believe they are sending something bonus. I don't know if it's an extra set of wheels. I, I don't know. Uh, you might contact them. They can tell you. Uh, but use this promo code. Uh, he uses them all the time. When I ordered my set... Um, I didn't know about that promo code. I wish I would have. I don't know. He might not have had it active then. Let me go ahead and show you how she looks. What do you think, guys? I think that looks slick. I think it looks just as good as a super, if not better. Everything's turning good. Plenty of room in the wheel wheels. So we're good there. Oh, yeah. So let's move on to a quick little paint for the tail lights. As you can see, the headlights are good. Let's give these tail lights some love. I'm going kind of with a almost a candy type red for these tail lights. I just think it looks slick on them. We're not going to do hardly anything to this besides a little swap in this. Like I say, later on we may do the interior. But for now, I'll go ahead and get this in the display. It'll have some good wheels on it. And guys, you can use acrylic or enamel on this, whichever you want. This is enamel right here. I, I like it better for paint my details but I have used acrylic and I'm sure I'll use it again a lot of the paints I use are acrylic based anyway or acrylic urethanes most of the stuff I use for uh, all the stuff I use on the bodies and stuff pretty much for the most part is Createx but for my details it's paint pens or lately I've just 
If I can paint on, I'd rather paint on. I think it looks better. All right, we're done with this one, guys. 50, 55 Chevy Bel Air 2022. There she is. That's all she wrote. How about that? Appreciate y'all being with me today. Uh, y'all, uh, please subscribe if you're not subscribed. Uh, like, share, hit the notification bell. And I will catch y'all on the next one. Y'all have a blessed day. Thank y'all very much.